I don't understand the Mariners' offseason plans at this point. The Mariners' website literally says, why Otani might not be in the Mariners' plans for 2023 offseason. But that's not the issue I have right now. The issue I have right now is we literally traded Isaiah Campbell, a pitcher, 4-1, 2.83 ERA, 27 games, one save, 28.2 innings pitch, 33 strikeouts, 1.22 Walks and hits per inning pitched. Really good pitcher. Came in, got us four wins. Uh, he's a reliever. Two holds, a save. One for one in save opportunities. Only gave up 22 hits. Only gave up nine runs. Only gave up two home runs. Threw 478 pitches. He did hit one guy and walk 13 guys. There was an intentional base on balls from a manager decision on there. But 33 strikeouts. So that's what we we had for Luis Urias from the Boston Red Sox, who last year in 144 bats had 28 hits, three home runs, and a batting average of uh, .194. So essentially, not even one out of every five at bats he gets on base. He had 18 runs and 18 RBIs with no stolen bases. 337 on base percentage, slug 299, 636 OPS, and an OPS plus is 76, which you want your OPS plus to be above 100. 76 is bad. He had negative 0.2 war uh, last season in his career. He's got 7 war, 331 hits on 1,412 bats, 48 homers, 234 batting average with 192 runs and 180 RBIs. This is essentially like basically bringing Colton Wong back onto the team. Uh, baseball references his projections next year at 288 at bats, 41 runs, 70 hits with one triple, two, 14 doubles, and 11 home runs with 39 RBIs, three sto <clears throat> stolen bases, getting walked 36 times, and striking out 71 times with a batting average of 243, which, uh, this is, um, a, 79% reliability, which means it's based on 21% regression towards the mean, but actually that would be progression towards the mean, as he was well below the mean last season. I'm going to pull up Isaiah Campbell on baseball reference and see what his uh, projections for next year are, because honestly, that this is absolutely just why. Why did we make this trade? He had half a win above replacement, but wins above replacement for pitchers is mostly based on eating up innings. Let's look at the projections. Three and two uh, with a 3.92 ERA, one save, 39 inning pitch, giving up 35 hits and 18 runs. 17 of them earned with five home runs, walking 16 players and 40 strikeouts with one balk, two wild pitches through 167 batters faced with a whip of 1.2. <clears throat> which the reliability on this is only 23%. So 87% of that is regression towards the mean, which makes sense. He didn't pitch much. It was his rookie year last year. <coughs> um, But I do not understand why the Mariners made this trade. I don't understand what the Mariners' goal was with this trade. Was the Mariners' goal to say, well, we, we want somebody who might be able to hit the baseball versus somebody who we know who can reliably get us, a, you know, three, four outs in those, you know, middle innings, the sixth, seventh, eighth inning. We don't have a closer anymore. The, the, the decisions Mariners management make doesn't make sense. Like, I would be okay with this trade if it had been for, like, I don't know, cash or player to be named later. If we had given... Campbell to the Red Sox for cash, your player to be named later, but this is just not a good trade whatsoever. And the Mariners, the Mariners have made some horrible mistakes, and this might be one of their first mistakes. Uh, nobody's been signed in free agency yet, which is fine, because uh, free agency is still basically in the early stages. Do have some reports that Otani wants teams to keep his free agent visits quiet, uh, which I'm assuming the Mariners would be able to do. And um, I'm also thinking that there is, you know, Ichiro and Nintendo owning part of the team uh, means that I think there's a chance that 
he comes here, but but at this point, it's just why why would he come here when we're making moves like that that don't show us to be a contender? We're, a literal black hole would be better. A black hole would have a one hundred percent on base percentage because it would always get hit by a pitch. <clears throat> But yeah, at this point, what are we doing? We have a literal black hole in our lineup. We we didn't well. I would like an upgrade at at first base over Ty France, but this isn't an upgrade of at first base over Ty France. This guy doesn't even play first base. He's an infielder who plays all the infield positions except first base. This this is making me angry. All right, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and. Uh, don't get arrested at Applebee's.